Hey guys, so before I start the video, I wanted to remind you that I am doing a giant, enormous, huge Illamasqua giveaway on my channel. Make sure to check out my March favorites for more information on that, and it should be over within the next couple weeks. So go ahead and do that, and then come back and watch the rest of the video. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a spring foundation tutorial slash routine for you. I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Now I use, or sorry, the foundation. I use the concealer all the time and I really, really like it. This is in the, the brightening shade, which is great for me right now. I have the concealing shade, but I feel like it pulls a little bit gray um, with my skin tone right now for some reason. But anyway, um, so I saw this at the store at Target and it was, looked like it was on clearance, so of course I picked it up because I, you know, just wanted to try it out. And then it turns out it wasn't on clearance, it was just the darker shades were. Um, but I am, I do like it, so I'm glad I kept it. One thing I will say about this, you have to make sure you have enough of the product up so that you can actually see it coming out the top. Because if you use too little product, it doesn't feel great on the skin, it feels very drying. Uh, I think it has great coverage, it is very thin, it is something that feels weightless on the skin, um, and it has been out for quite a while. I tried to look up reviews and I couldn't find one within the past year. So I thought, well, that, you know, it might be great for me to do a video on it. Um, if you have any experience with this, please put it in the comments below. It has an SPF of 18, and I feel like it's a great foundation for spring because it's light. It, you know, has buildable coverage, but it can look cakey if you go too far. Um, so I just put one layer on. Um, and the only other thing I did before I started the tutorial was, of course, I washed my face and I put on my sunscreen, which I put on every day. This is SPF 50, um, and it's a moisturizing sunscreen. Then I put on my number seven beautiful matte primer just on my forehead because we're already getting to the time of year where my, my forehead gets super oily. I put the pore vanisher on my pores right here. And then on the rest of my face, I primed it with a the Flawless Beauty Primer by Pixie. It is um, kind of like a luminous finish primer. And I put that everywhere else. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pan through the items I'll be using today. <coughs> Starting with my Maybelline Age Rewind Foundation. and blending it out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I don't have real purpley dark circles, mine are more red, so I'm using my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the brightening shade. And I don't use a lot of this product, you can see how much I use, because I don't want it to get cakey. Next, going in with the Dermablend Concealer and a Soho concealing brush. Just hitting the broken capillaries and any kind of dark pigmentation I have. Now onto the Milani Brow Kit. I run this powder through the middle of my brows and then I take my Anastasia Brow Pencil, the spoolie end combing through, and trace the outside of my brows on the top and then underneath. Next, onto the Stay Matte Setting Powder. I use this only in the areas that I get oily. Pula Bronzer with my e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush to add some color to my face and contouring. Nothing too dramatic. Next, my Lorac Spotlight Highlighter. This is my Real Techniques Setting Brush. This is a different one than the other one I showed. Illamasqua Blush in Tremble. It's a cream blush. I'm using this small stipple brush from e.l.f. This is going to help any powder that I put on top stay put all day. 
cargo in Sunset Beach, and a Soho brush. Next, my NYX HD powder, and this has a sifter at the top, so I do that so I can get all of the product on the lid, and that's how much product I'm going to use, which is almost too much. And a Real Techniques powder brush. And that's Hey guys, so this is the completed look. I have added some lipstick. This is the um, Primrose Lipstick by Revlon. It is a dupe for Snob, maybe? I don't know. I love it. I have Snob, but I love that lipstick more. And then on my eyes, I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes, and I'm doing a review on this, and I'll link it below if it's already up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!